Thank you, Heavenly Father, so much for your anxiety-free day and your seeking saints, Father. Thank you so much for what we're becoming in your name. It says, be anxious for nothing, but everything through prayer and supplication. Seek ye first. Thank you so much for what you're doing, Father, in our lives and the lives of those around us and whom you're using us to ignite. May this whole world be ablaze. In Yeshua's name we pray, amen. Yeah, awesome day. Awesome day at the, at the working on the coma. <laughs> it was a beautiful, beautiful day, as it is every day. And this weather we can't beat. It's a little windy. But I decided to grab that stick, that old Moses stick, and uh, see if the sun um, will help the camera uh, be able to focus in a little bit better, get a little better resolution so that you can see that, that stick I did um, a few years ago. And then, uh, yeah, forced, hung on to it. I, I almost, it almost slipped my mind. But nothing's ever really lost, is it? It's just kind of misplaced. Until the landowner comes home in full. I want to make sure. I'm going to move this over. It's real super windy, people. So I'm going to move this stuff over. It was, oh man, today up on that roof. Oh boy. On that roof, it was a humdinger. Skip Winger. Just spoke to him night before last. Man, say a prayer for my Uncle Skip. He was the one that was there when when uh, Uncle Uncle Daryl said I, he felt something pop. And then he started hemorrhaging out his eyes and nose and ears. And it was a... Spoke to him. He's, uh, he just got, uh, got healed of cancer. He's like 70. He's still going, going strong. But yeah, it was, it was extremely windy up there in Mina, up on the mountain. And those, those, uh, those slab, those, uh, sheets of sheet metal are, man, when the wind gets, gets up under them whoo people that talk about a humdinger <laughs> skip winger you might want to, you might want to have pardon me i have to keep my eyes on this i'm i'm waiting for a few in, uh, important texts that i don't want to miss this guy has a little toyota that i i might want to trade old murgatroyd for <laughs> JP patches. Oh man, that clown was something else. Old JP. JP Morgan. Um but yeah, it was win it was extremely windy. And beautiful, beautiful day. When that wind catches that sheet, those are long, probably I don't know, a good 15 feet at least maybe 20 they might be 20 foot sheets and then oh thank the good lord the the, the old boss man he hooked me up with a new set of bags saddle bags so i can get more stuff in them which i'm man i'm just absolutely uh so thankful because home depot and I'll probably repeat this again, but Home Depot just, it seemed like they were, they were completely just bought out of uh, certain types of home improvement stuff, like utility, like, uh, you know, carpentry bags. There was only one kind, well, two kinds left, but only one that I could use in a I'll show you they're out here because I'm out here. It's a nice day. I didn't want to pass up the, the weather. Um, and it seems if I'm facing the sun, and this is not like what happens in the window when we get washed out, I might be able to get that that uh, 
because there was a couple pieces that didn't didn't get received well. I'd like to share. So, um, yeah, that that wind was was something else. I, I had a new appreciation, and oh man, that home is so beautiful. That home, that man's home. Him and his family are so blessed. What a blessing to, to be privileged enough to, to be able to work up there and get that roof attached for him so he doesn't have to worry about it when the when the heavy rains come. And uh, like I said, he's got his he's got part of his home in his storm shelter, like a little bomb shelter for the tornadoes and whatnot built right into the to the side of the mountain it's a, it's just absolutely gorgeous the house is it's amazing all the even the, all the neighbors homes are the same they're spaced just far enough where you know if you don't really want company you don't have it and if you you know you you'd like it you know good neighbors you've got it you know asap it's just beautiful and uh you know, I heard it said yesterday where we were, and I thought, well, that's something. I'm going to have to share that um, with my beloved friends and family and wife becoming soon. 253-441-6171. Oh, I don't go to those dating services. So you guys, you can just stop sending those to me, those Asian ones and all that. I don't. If I wanted that, I would have ordered Thai food. I told you that. It has nothing to do with being arrogant or so. It had. No, it has nothing to do with me, little old me. It has to do with that. That uh, light, that source where there's smoke, there's fire. <laughs> little Sparky. Oh yeah. And he says, if you are ashamed of me. And I'll be ashamed of you. It has nothing to do with God's gift to women. No. It's eternal. It's something something else. It's that it's the the light, the heat they see in in our eyes. And quite the contrary. It's not you they hate, it's me. Remember, they hated me first. You can, you better count on the fact that they're going to hate your guts and try to kill you. And yes, things are going to get rough. But in some senses, you're not even going to, you won't even sense it where two or more gather. Some will go through uh, rougher times than others, but there's some things that are going to be obscured from your uh, reality until it's all said and done and then he'll show you exactly we'll see everything just so that you don't get tripped up along the way because oh our heavenly father knows each and every one of your hearts and the the encount the intent and and uh the motive is is what's going to count one account in one accord i never I didn't, I never really realized, I had no idea what, realize, I seen that not long ago, realize and realize, it's almost like that Floydian kind of reversal, rats live on no evil star, run it backwards thing, showed me stuff a long time ago I was like wow what is this and then if I was to share it with somebody they'd think man you're just absolutely so you just after a while you just stop sharing stuff with individuals even if it's like eating you up inside you know it's just after a while who do you trust well trust is earned respect is Christ given Yahweh provided and motivated through the Holy Spirit. It's all the same. It's that egg. And there it was right in Scripture. Oh, speaking of Scripture. 
after I share the name of where we were today. That wind's picking up. Um, I have it written down. I wrote it down on a napkin. In Justin's truck this morning. Uh, Potter's Holler. Potter's Potter's Holler. And the clay doesn't say to the potter, what are you doing with me? Right? Um, so, yeah. Yeah, that boy seen something in me I wasn't able to see in myself. They worked really hard on damaging us. People, that's what it does. It knows you're, you're your own worst enemy or its best defense. This is the end. This is the end of the innocence. And I didn't even try to do that. It just happened. That's what I'm saying. It's not arrogance. It's just that's how I've been wired now. Best defense. Armchair warriors often fail. His voice now just, I can't, I can't stand it. Because I know the intent and motive of his heart. I didn't. I just thought it was, well, it's right in there. It's that light, the heat, or the lack thereof. Low spark of high-heeled boys. It's the saddest state of affairs. Yeah. You did a real nice job on this, that potter's house. Scott, I never really looked at it. I admired from afar. I could just see that it was quality and done with skillful hands and somebody that had intent, good motive and aim, and they were sure of their self. They had confidence. But here I am standing right there. I'll probably show you again when I grab that there stick. Pardon me. Grab that stick. I reckon that's me right there. And I got a smile on my face. I got a smile on my face. I see it in two little eyes and a little hat. It looks like almost two eyes on that hat. He did a real nice job. And then I'm holding some kind of tool. Looks like a like a a hoe or a rake. And then there's this. He's got this almost like a root. I didn't I didn't notice this until Till just now, actually. Sorry, son. No, I'm I'm not sorry. I'm not. I'm not sorry. I apologize. Never ever sorry. Plus, that's got two R's. We could use that in many different ways. Never ever be sorry. You're not sorry, people. You are, were not created sorry at all. But then there's the green. The old green machine there. And then the little cabin. Well, where there's smoke, there's fire. You might want to go to the beginning. Oh, there we go. Well, even that zero, it's just, I know it's you with that one. Those zeros? Uh-uh. That's this way. But really, we're just, we're making it go. So there's there must be fire in that in that source right there. Just go to the source. Always consider the source. Always trust is earned. Respect is... Anyway, there's a fire. Obviously, because there's smoke in a tree. And it looks almost like there's a cross, but I'm probably reaching a little bit for that one. But there's that, so I'll show you. And now that I, I picked a... A flower for you. 
and for all of you, but you just, I don't try to talk like people say in, in riddles, it just happens that way. So if this is meant for you, then it's for you. And right after I pick this, right there, it's like three feet away. Well, a little further than that. I just laid three, so I rounded it off to the to the nearest. Or I could have, I guess I could have reached out and said seven if I was laid straight back that way. But listen to me now. Now I'm starting to brag. Now I am starting to break. It isn't arrogance. Just go ahead and watch the, from the beginning. I'm sure if you're if you're smart, you will. And I know you, you all are very intelligent. This hummingbird, which that's why I went and got that stick so that I could show you here in the sunlight and hopefully this mud duck radio will pull in the good, it'll... Uh, good resolution you'll be able to see the the stick that I um, I uh, bedazzled a little bit I was like what could I what could I say thank you father not really though I can't stand those type of jeans um, I need to get some pants I need to probably start wearing some pants because man it was so windy up there today I was getting cold and I'm from way colder area than these folks and they're up there without a shirt and I'm like I'm like what is going on I know my circulation is just fine anyway this hummingbird and that's what I'm going to show you on this stick there this hummingbird that you weren't able to see um flew right down to that other this one that was hanging right that's blowing around right there it went right to that one and uh so right after I picked this, I was actually, I said somebody's name, say my name. I'm going to make some more coffee here in a minute, but I'm going to show you this. I'm going to put it on surround sound. So maybe that way I can set it down and it'll pick up my mug or my, my mouth. Oh, mouth, mouth, where are you when I need you? Oh, mouth, what big teeth you have. Okay, so let me look and see. I'm going to look on here and see so I know. We'll start from the bottom. Let's see how this is coming in. I'm going to do something. I'm going to make sure I'm looking at the screen so that I can try the best so that you can see. All right. It was all right earlier. Oh, there we go. Now we're talking. Oh yeah, baby. That's what that's what Papa needs right there. A new pair of shoes. There we go. Come on, don't fiddle with me now. Sucker. Don't make me call you names, fool. Cuz I will. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, sweet. Sweet. There's that little cabin. And then down here, if you look, you'll see almost a, like a, a rolling stone tongue lick thing down there. And then you have to, there's, there's some detail that I, and then let's see, where's the, uh, that's just another, something with them dang mountains and me, the mountains and trees and such. Okay, so let me go up to the little Miss Muffet. It's just, I don't know, it just happened that way. I don't know why. Sometimes I just, and then there's this. I showed you that, but I wanted it. And then there's that owl right there. But this is something I wanted to really. Oh, there it is, right there. There it is. There's the hummingbird 
right here. It's coming around. She's coming around the mountain. Let's see. And then there's old hammer line right there. Someone's got to do it. It might as well be me. Anyway. Oh, here's that little boy, Blue. I don't know. <laughs> right there. He's He's just kicking back on the moon. He's just a... Uh, doing the moonwalk and then there's there's that one I did you Millie right there we haven't done it <laughs> I did you baby well two five three four four one you've got my number here's looking at you sweetheart let's see I'm being a fool now, huh? Just being a fool for the city. Keep it simple, silly. Millie. Yeah. All right. I think that's about it. That's another. I think that's another tree. Oh, no. That's the same one. That's the. That's the one. Oh, yeah. That's the one. That's the other one right there. I don't know why. She swallowed a fly. Don't read into that. When I say don't read into that, that's because I get I don't like associating you with anything that I've associated it with. Because then I don't because I don't want you because this is what's delayed things already you get sometimes you get yourself gets in the way of progress. Born into a world of sin and then the enemy he knows you so well. So very well, because you tell him all your secrets. And once you start standing and moving in faith, oh, it just becomes whew, a thing of the past. Up under your feet, you just tread on it. You just tread right on it. You would think that something so beautiful would have a little more fragrance to it. I've always been kind of disappointed in Those roses and how they they don't smell mm, not like them 12 tribes boy they're gonna mm, 37 10 12 you know what I'm getting cold I'm gonna fire this coffee up I hauled everything out here for y'all because I love y'all I'll be right back I just gotta oh actually I don't need to go anywhere <laughs> imagine that Let's see, what else was I going to talk about? Let's see. Oh, that's right. Marriage and the Virgins. I already shared that on Facebook. That's the one I was led not to be anxious. That's what a lot of people do. There. They see, you know, they start seeing certain things going on around them and they forget who it is that's in control if they diligently seek. It's not going to just, oh, he'll go after you, but it's not going to, he's not going to kick your door in. Not all roads lead to Rome. Open up to the one that stands at the door and knocks. Don't be outsmarted by the fox. Like, why am I writing this? He says, you already know. I know he will. Let's see, resurrection on your faith. Let's see, come to believe. Where is that? Here it is. Right here. Right here, people. 
right here. I should like you to be free of anxieties. Right there. And if you keep reading, it's um, 1 Corinthians uh, 7, 32. Till the, the uh, chapter ends at, at verse 40. I mean, yeah, verse 32 and ends at verse 40. Right before uh, offerings to idols, knowledge insufficient. That's it. That's all. We are truth. We are created right in his image. It's that knowledge and wisdom, understanding that we're after. And that's all that'll happen. You just got to walk by faith. It's impossible to please our creator without faith. I'll tell you that right now. It's over and over. You count how many times faith is in in this in this word right here. Well, even the one that even the one you may be reading with all the the books and those are just the ones you know about for now that were removed, expunged. Oh yeah, pretty iffy, pretty iffy. People have been iffy for well, and you know. Do you think he would have came to Adam and did that? Heck no. That's why men, you have to stay on guard and not just run right into it. That's why he came to eat because he knew we'd be like, <laughs> Aruga, right? We're going to eat that fruit. And that's why it says right here, read the whole scripture verse. It's better for you not to, but if you're going to, I'm not going to fault you for that. It's not good for man to be alone, but in some cases it's it's better. That you do. It just depends on, in my case, oh, I've worked extremely hard. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not about to let this one go. Uh-uh. So, um, yeah, just, just tried to bug me up from getting all kinds of stuff. But just keep rolling. I'll, I'll be getting those wheels moving pretty soon. Because I got rounds to make. Like I said, I just live in the moment. And it's been serving me right so far. And all of us, it's serving us all right. It's almost that kind of that uh, capitalism. You know, we're all versed and and we all have our own gifts. And t I was just talking to JJ about that. And uh, the the shame is is that we just we just bury him. We just just like it came right out of the ground. We just bury him. And so sometimes you got to go digging in the dirt. God, in those ditches that we helped dig, at least I helped dig, didn't even realize I was doing it, because the enemy was too chicken shit to get in there and do it himself, so, and couldn't really, so that's how he's able to eat, that's what it does, it exploits us through our free will, and our flesh, our, our, the, uh, the battle between the spirit of our flesh and the spirit of our of our heart, because out of a person's mouth comes the abundance of the heart. That's how you'll know them. They'll, they can say one thing. It might sound real nice, but if you watch them, and the, the opposite, completely the, the, the reverse. You can, you can watch somebody and then, and then listen to them. Those birds, that's what they do. They ain't going to come. They want to. And sometimes they're like, no, you go first. No, you. You do remember when she said to him, that was a beautiful outfit. Low spark of high-heeled boys. God, I just like this. I can't stand his voice anymore because I know that heart is just wicked above all things. And she says, no, you you go first. Them hominy grits. Hominy grits. You know, that helped him out too. That helped him out a lot in that case. Home alone, and that's something. And that's the thing you don't want to have your home occupied. You don't want it alone. Remember, it goes and then it comes back and it looks, sees it's all tidy and oh yeah, don't be the five foolish. But they'll preach to you, John three sixteen, over and over and over. Oh boy, they just love to tickle people's ears. It pays, really. Like I said, for years I thought, man, this is just a big shit show for money. Mm-hmm. Like my little toehead, little silly.
You want a small honey? Uh-huh. That's what I thought it was. I went, wait a minute. That He goes, because you weren't ready for it. It's all about just tripping you up so you are caught off guard. So when he returns through us, you are slipping. And there is no reflection there and done. And that sunscreen isn't going to cover you. I promise you that. That little John 3.16... Beautiful scripture verse, but when they create a whole doctrine off it, and then it comes thinking, uh, it it come thinking to change time, and it see it says thinking. Now they ain't solidifying anything. It ain't tying anything in. It's just trying to rope a dope your ass around. Don't go over, under, or around. You have to go through, and that through is true. Special knowledge holds true. Sexual immorality. See, and that's the thing, people. Oh, it's just, it's, yeah, that's why he, and he left differently than he, he approached her. Oh, left way differently. And they're, oh, they're shapeshifters big time, big time. They, I've seen stuff, those seen a, a matter of fact, I was going to bring up my my half Asian bill for the lack of a better because I, I forgot his name and I'm sure it's in my, my phone uh, list somewhere. I just got to keep unpacking stuff. The blood there, the, and I'll, he said I could share that, his story. Matter of fact, so they puts me before I get. You've been down south way too long. Lived down here many years on all around. Um, they put me in this old young jitterbug tank. Just, you know, kids that were. And uh, my buddy, actually. Don't say this much when, when referring to... Um, well, let's just say county or city workers. Hey, how's your brother, man? Yeah, you're... And he did, he's just doing his, you know, he's just doing what he's he's asked to do. He, he's, not pro, he's not thinking about this. So this guy just starts telling me his his life story. I start telling, he's like, man, I, I got blessed. I, he had ended up shooting up. Uh, a bunch of houses high tweaking beefing with another another gang uh some other gang I, I don't even know they weren't the crips or anything but as so i said they have they have a gang in that's called that down in down in uh parkland which is where brent emery the guy that sent me those really i got to get that out and he says, yeah. And he started telling me, yeah, I was tweaked out. I probably overreacted. And I was really looking at a lot of time. I mean, they were, these cops were after me, man. And he said, I, I said a prayer and I said, they just were, they, they were looking for me, but they were, they just were going past me. And I had a, the gun and everything. And he didn't, he didn't shoot anybody. He just shot up the house, which still, I mean, he could have killed. I know an old man that got, got put away because some, his son, uh, wanted this TV back after hawking it to a crack dealer. And uh, the old man uh, went and shot up the house. Just He was one of my roommates. And uh, just to scare the people. And they got him for three uh, counts of attempted murder and sent him away forever. Which, in some cases, I guess that, that it should. That's that's just some retarded shit. Yeah, it's something you don't do. So anyway, he, sh he shoots up this, this house. Now, he is trying to to blast through the through the window and they did shoot out shoot up his stuff also that was legit but he it would have been just cool you know it would have things would have cooled down a little bit and then he was doing that that crap which it ain't even it's not even speed it's not it's not even it's not methamphetamine at all it's a it's it's uh it's government goo believe me Brought to you by China. Oh, yeah, they got along so well. Um, he uh, he started telling me stories about 
He says, man, you, you're going to think, but he knew right after a while. I said, no, I bet I won't. And he said, man, I seen this star. He said, I, I watched it and I, and I, and I didn't even have to ask him, did you have any sleep? He, cause he told me, he says, oh no, this one. Cause he knew the kid was, he was very intelligent, bright. And he had been in there long enough. He was spun dry and he was firing on all cylinders. Matter of fact, he was getting pretty heavy because his family was really, took really, really uh, good care of him while he was in there and <laughs> trying to feed me. And that, it was just sh that food. Oh, everything was turkey. I swear every single thing it was just in different forms and shapes and textures and consistencies it was f nasty people oh my gosh they ought to be oh and they they will be oh ought to be when i'm talking about audit oh mama's gonna love this when they used to run me down the i called it the 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 old the walk of, of of fame they they thought it was the oh and i just i didn't say anything and they i just let them talk just let it let them talk which you know he could have just sent down a, and absolutely mr pounders no we don't talk to our heavenly like that as in well at least most of us but the fallen ones oh it's a it's a done deal matter of fact you better count on it or you're in, you're in the wrong camp because that's exactly what's happening we will be judging them and all the people it's just we don't judge people you see isn't it isn't it amazing how, how that is here we do judge people what that's right what? <laughs> oh, Mrs. Hall, that's funny. I love you guys. Oh, we do righteously. It's different. But then once they're in front of our heavenly father and we're watching everything, we will not be judging them. We don't judge who's going to heaven or hell. We don't do that, which is right here. Kingdom come. But what we do judge is the, uh, uh, the content of their character as they're in motion and it's, you know, bad company corrupts good character. And I would not have known what bad company was if I myself wasn't in the word. Once you're around the real thing long enough, you'll detect it. And it doesn't mean we don't love them. Love is respect. And we respect everybody, no gossiping, none of that stuff. We're in process of all that stuff. Trying not to, because you never know they can have a, a conversion of heart at any time and that's the beautiful thing and matter of fact you might be that very reason just because you treated them the way our heavenly father is has is you know uh, reflected in you to do just that so they can see him in us and um, but oh yeah those fallen they're done it's over they know too they already they already know it's the ones that it's not you, it's the devil in you. Demons, devils, fallen angels, all the same stuff. Lucifer, Satan, I, I, I'm not interested if it comes to, it's all the same thing. It's all the same shit show. And like I said, it's one thing to step in it. It's a whole nother thing to track it around. And that's exactly what's happening. They're, they're, they want, now they just want to just be so far away from us. They're just like, listen, it's, uh, it's all over, but the, but the uh, get your get your uh, weenie sticks because you're gonna have a uh, a fish fry, and this stinks. It stinks to high heaven. Um, but that's exactly what's happening here. We make righteous judgment and pray. Uh, there he'll make ultimate judgment, final judgment, and that'll be that on that day, becoming us, and then we're gonna judge the the fallen the the ones that that uh, disrupted this beautiful he seen it was good people whoo man i'm getting poor i didn't even grab my coffee that's how much i love you guys you see how i just i'll just pawn that off on you but really that's really what happens so i get involved and i don't i'm not concerned with anything around me other than the fact that i am cold right now um the lord's supper oh you darn right the lord's supper whoo can't wait Gonna have to get with banquet feast. It's just getting bigger and bigger. I said, oh, if I don't see you here, I'll see you there at the banquet feast. Right here. All right here. Uh, let's see. For in one spirit, we are all baptized into one body. One body. And the word became flesh. And the two became one. The two 
became one flesh. That's why it's so important, people. Marry it up. But don't go running to get, just be patient. And not you, not you. We're beyond that now. We got to get moving now. It's it's moving. I hope I don't want you to miss the bus if you're you'll be fine, like I said, but you'll have no one to blame but your own self. Not me. If that's even remotely a something you're even considering. Let's see. Cause I'm just telling you, I don't make this stuff up. I'm just trying to trying to be a good steward. Oh, Stevie Stewart. You know, him and Martin were really good friends. Stevie Stewart. Mm, Stewart's me. Matter of fact, I just seen a picture of Martin. Pardon me. Woo-wee! Oh, it's windy. It was so windy up on that roof. Oh, my goodness. And once that wind gets up underneath that <laughs> sheet metal, I'm definitely not... Sweating like a slave in Debo's pigeon coop today. That is not something I am doing today. And of course, this doesn't help any. But I like my margarita mix. This might help a little bit. Otherwise, I'm thinking, man, I don't want to wrap it up yet. I'm going to have to start cutting these down anyway because uh, I got to get I got to get rolling and doing stuff too. I just I just know it. I just don't like putting it down and planning it because that's not what list I do have. It's always in in revision. I, well, kind of. I just cross off like, uh, let's see here. I'll just give you an example. I need some more face scrub. Hair conditioner because I told you I've watered that stuff down long enough now. I hear our Heavenly Father said, so are you going to just keep watering that down, huh? Are you going to go ahead and do you deserve to buy yourself another bottle of that stuff? Uh, so uh, hair conditioner, the blue stuff. I hope they have it here. I've had that since I've been out of the Huskow. Oh, yeah, that wind. Once that wind stops blowing, I'm okay. I'm all right. Let's see. I got an eye appointment. Oh, thank the good Lord. I called around. Got off a little early today. Still an hour drive. Um, heard another inside scoop on $65,000 house. It's pretty nice. But the guy, he's not advertising it because he really, he doesn't want just anybody living next to him. I'm going to say don't blame him, but definitely that's not a lot of money. Um, oh, yeah, I'll still be making my rounds. But like I said, I had a vision of four four houses i thought they were tiny houses and uh but i don't know things things just seem to so i have an eye appointment i'm sure glad because i don't have insurance i'm really happy that i've been blessed and i called around because it pays to to not just be lazy Ooh, we stop it well, someone needs some wind somewhere. And um, what else? That's it. So now, once I, my point, I guess, is, is once I execute these, then I will, I'll cross one off and then I'll, uh, I'll get to add something else. I love adding stuff to them. It's just, and then, of course, this right here. He's like, he was right, too. I was like, man, that's kind of a, a crappy thing to say. You don't think they're going to let me get any of my legal stuff to court, huh? He goes, no. You think they're going to let you go in there and have... I said, well, they weren't... I wasn't even... I had no idea I was leaving. None. Tawana said, well, it says you're going to court. But it said that before, and then they postponed it. And it says, well, it says you're going to court again in two weeks. And all the guards said, you're not going anywhere. There, there's no buses running like that. Because I wasn't. I really, I, I was not going anywhere. They don't, there was only a few, there was a few of us. And then that one native from the county. But yeah, he told me his whole life story. And um, 
it was a miracle, one miracle after another. Actually, I was like, oh my gosh, do you realize it? He goes, oh yeah. He said, I was praying. He said, I only got uh, six months in jail. I said, are you serious? Now, see, had this been a different time and and uh, in my life, I might have had to just not make us uh, accept his, uh, of course, you're starving to death in there. But back then it would have been better food. He kept trying to feed me. I'm like, dude, man, I'm not trying to blow up. I, But yeah, I would have really, I'd have been, I would say, do you know what I got? Do you realize what the hell just happened? I would, you know, and you're, how does that happen? You shot, you did what? And, uh, but the, 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 the Lord, he was trying to, to let this young man know, Hey, look, you know, there's something I, I need for you to do. And this is not it. This is not it. Young man, very intelligent, extremely intelligent. Kind of a bigger, I think he, uh, matter of fact, he, he, he did go to church, but I think they were Buddhists. There was a few temples. I said, yeah, I know where that's at. Right off of by the Champion Center, that big, huge meat market of a church there. Well, a congregation. I used to go to celebrate recovery. That's all it is. It's just a big dating place. It's I mean, there's thousands of people that go. I mean, that see, Tacoma police, all they have to shut down the direct traffic. Do you know they get a big kickback? It's right down the road from there, right off of McKinley. That's weird too, because I I right when I got out of Green Hill, those buckets, I had all those, all the staff, even my counselor. I said, okay, grab a couple more. And they're like, well, you're kind of being pushy. I said, well, I'm getting out. Grab those buckets. Let's get them loaded up, buddy. Move it. He started laughing. They, had, they helped me move out all that stuff. All of uh, uh, James, James, uh, my buddy with the right there. I dumped all that dirt out right there off McKinley, right down the road from that. Years before, had no clue. No clue. Full circle. I just realized that right now. Just realized that. Oh, oh my gosh. And the other thing is, he grew up right there. Shalashan. Right there. Right there. And his dad was a blood. Um younger than me um and i bowed out of the and the reason i'm telling you this because this was kind of i'd never heard of this other other than just kind of just hearsay so i didn't know if i believed it or not but his dad um because his blood in blood out type thing so his his dad um asian uh, I think his mom might have been native. Yeah, I think she. I think she was. Yeah, I think so, because his grandma was native. Yeah, he that he that's who basically raised him because they were they were young. The, the two of his mother and father, and then he was in the gang. Um, oh, and he got out. He wanted to get out. Is what I was saying. And they they weren't. You know, he wasn't supposed to get out. So anyway, he did. Somehow, I don't know if he ran and hit or whatever the story was, but his son being raised up in that, when he finally got to a certain age, he went right back in, in it and, and took over his name. They let him do that. And he said it was a real kind of a dangerous thing, but they thought that was noble in some ways. I think it's all just completely ridiculous, but I can understand it when you're raised on the street 100%. And, and, you know, when that dysfunction takes, takes root, then, oh my God, you're talking you're talking a, a fruit of a poisonous tree. <laughs> uh, that's some, that's some, I think that's a court term. Definitely rotten, rotten to the core, Mr. L. Not you. God, I love you guys so much. Snapping right on, just mm, right on up and out. So he took his name and, uh, but he was, he, he asked me, he says, uh, so uh, what do you know about these? I said, oh, those are, that's real. All that stuff. I said, those those fallen, when you see those, they're shooting stars and fallen stars. I, say, I said, yeah. 
So that has something to do with uh, heavenly hosts, negative or positive. He goes, that's what I thought. He goes, I was, uh, and I've seen this almost the same thing. He said, I was following this guy. He, he, uh, we were making a deal. He was going to buy some dope from me. And, um, and of course I already knew, I already knew he would have told me he was sitting in. I wasn't tripping. He said, so I, I was going to follow or, um, he wanted me to follow him. He was tweaking and I know how that goes. Uh, so he said, you follow me to where we'll, we're, we'll, we'll do the deal. And they're out, they're probably both strapped. So, you know, it was just completely dysfunctional, crazy, uh, uh, lifestyle. But he said the guy took off in, in front of him and uh, he seen a, a star fall from the sky. He says, I, I wasn't tripping and I, and I, you know, I didn't even have to say, I, I'm not saying you are, but he knew. I just, you know, I was made sure I looked right in his eyes and gave him my full attention. He says, that star fell and I swear it fell right in the back seat of that car. And then something got up and the guy reached back and was trying to push something down. I was like, yep, I've seen something just like that on, on Hosmer at that, at that holiday Inn. I mean, uh, at the, uh, uh, motel six, how did I get holiday Inn? I know there's a Howard Johnson there. That's a, that's major, major bad news right there. If I would have just, oh boy, here I am praying, just don't lift your head up. What a mess that was. No, I'm not feeling, I'm just saying, if you're led to do something, do it, people. And I'm going to have to wrap this up pretty soon. But anyway, he said, yeah, this guy kept, and I, uh, and all of a sudden, he said, um, well, I won't tell you exactly. Let's just say, um, it freaked him out a little bit, but uh, not as much as as uh, if it is if he goes back to that like a dog. He goes back to that kind of lifestyle after knowing what he knows and and pray. We prayed together, and he was praying before. That's how he he was able to get favor in court. That's what you you want to you want to know what grace is. He got grace. He got mercy and he got grace. Mercy, he definitely, he definitely got, he got grace. He got what he did not deserve. And, uh, and he, he knew it too. He definitely knew it. But yeah, really neat kid. Really neat kid and, and extremely, um, he was influential in that, in that tank, very influential, very, and you know, it was odd too. Cause back in the day, the gang members, when the, when the, when the Coke really started separating the, our beloved children, the gangs had to be separated cause they were so volatile and just a drop of just, it didn't matter. It was you slob, you, you crab. All it was, was just a, was just uh uh it was a it was a it was a shit show so they were up and i spent a lot of time in the 11th floor in, in king county and this all started taking place back in the day when i was frequenting frequenting the the king county jail and the 11th floor was the top floor that's the whole, where the hole was usually it's down below they don't usually take you up but that's where this was at and it stayed loud late at night so i just made my own earplugs and tuned out and looked out i had a perfect cell that looked out over i5 and i would commute with the commuters <laughs> i would be i would uh i would get up about the same time everybody would be heading to work about 2 45 3 o'clock 3 30 in the morning start counting the the headlights, I think John, John Lennon, or no, Elton John, count the headlights on the highway, it just happens, just, it's beautiful, it kept me alive and living, so, um, yeah, he, uh, amazing, very influential there, and I pray, I hope he doesn't go back, because man, I'll tell you, 
it won't be, it probably won't be good for him. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this up and because I am now thoroughly cold, very cold. I don't need those in my, and contacts. Oh, they're going to let me get away with the pair of trial contacts. She goes, have you worn them before? I said, yeah, that's all I used to wear. I didn't wear glasses. Matter of fact, the first time I ever got contacts, they had just came out with contacts. And like I said before, a couple of my earlier segments, well, quite a few, we're at 93 already. Um, they were like, almost like cigarette cellophane uh, material thick. Uh, they just suck on your eye. I was able to just pop them right out, which that made them kind of nice. And then I went to gas permeables later on and uh so yeah so that's and way way less than what these other opticals uh were charging so i have to travel a little bit but it's it's worth it's well worth it anyway i love you guys and oh man i'm just goose bumped out he should be getting his turkeys pretty soon love the egg salad sandwiches i cut onion up this time Put some of his peppers in there, his cowboy uh, peppers. He brought me two more jars. And, oh, man, probably Friday. I, Friday or Saturday, I'm, I'll be I'll be trying them out. Oh, they're going to be good. Okay, I love you guys. I got to go. I'm going to get inside and, and uh, uh, just thank our Heavenly Father for all you. Love you.